Hi, welcome to IT Jet Chat. I'm iReporter Maureen Jet. Today I'm chatting with Blaine Schultz, IBM Senior Sales Manager. Thanks for being on today, Blaine. My pleasure. So I understand IBM has recently made some significant changes to the DS3500 and DCS3700 storage systems base feature set. So can you tell us what has changed and how does this affect IBM's partners and customers? Sure, you bet. So we're really excited about Project Simplicity, which takes over 45 different complex premium feature keys and reduces it to two simple groupings. The first grouping is the best, of course, because it's free. So when a customer, existing or new customers, download 7.84 code from the IBM website, their system is updated to get maximum partitions, 32 flash copies, as well as volume copy, which is especially important for implementing dynamic disk pools. And by the way, did I mention? It's free. The second group, very simple list of four premium feature keys. The first one, performance read cache, takes advantage of solid state drives and maximizes the IOPS performance of the system. The second key is a backup and restore key, which unlocks the maximum flash copies included in the system. The third key, is a disaster recovery key, which unlocks the maximum mirrors available to the storage controller for remote mirroring, both over fiber channel as well as over IP. And the fourth key we call a super key, mm -hmm. which unlocks everything for the customers that want all of the above. And the best part of it, it's at a reduced bundled price. Wow. So Tell me honestly, did IBM increase the price of these systems when they added these features? No, for the first grouping free, it is, it's absolutely free, again, with a download of 7.84 code from the IBM website. It's that simple. So from what I remember about the DS3500 series storage systems, the product has really changed since its launch in 2010. Can you talk about some of the updates it's gone through? Sure, absolutely. So we introduced it in 2010, as you said, and we've added significant development to the product line. We've gone from 96 drives to 192 drives, maximizing the performance of the system. We've moved to include uh, solid state drives. And by the way, you can intermix solid state drives with the nearline SAS drives as well as the high performance drives. We've moved from a traditional RAID paradigm to the exciting dynamic disk pooling paradigm. So I've heard the choice of host connectivity really different, differentiates the DS3500 from the competition. Yes, very insightful. The key word you said there is choice. So for example, we have one gigabit iSCSI, now moving to 10 gigabit iSCSI. We've gone from four gigabit fiber channel to eight gigabit fiber channel. But most exciting, and where we really knock the competition out of the block, is SAS connectivity. We've gone from three gigabit SAS to six gigabit SAS by four lanes for 24 gigabit per second uh, connectivity. And the other important part of choice is you can intermix all of these. So the controllers allow for SAS on the baseboard and then you can pick what other host interface type that you need. So with, with this increased feature set, we've been able to penetrate into new markets, uh, including high performance computing, a GPFS specific to IBM. We have new application plugins, such as in an exchange environment and VMware environments. Right, so basically you blast the competition out of the water. We blast them, that's right. <laughs> well, thanks for chatting with us today, Blaine. It was so great to have you. And thank you for tuning in to IT Jet Chat.